So if I knew, like the way you guys are doing the so when you come to me, when you come to me, as you know, it's not my topic. If you look throughout the throughout the streams, I was acting as a moderator. Okay, so don't come and debate with the moderator. I'm giving you the opportunity to debate Afghan Rashid. Who knows? No, no, yeah, yeah. Speakers corner. Would it be streamed? Would it be streamed on Dallas? No, no, it will be recorded and put on Dallas. No, no, no. It does what you want. Hashim, Hashim, Sheikh is willing to talk to them. We know it's well coming, well coming. Huh? Well coming. Yeah, then we'll waste no time. Okay, so Let's go. go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's a club. No, no hard feelings. Yeah. Just just speak. No problem. But so you in, in the future, if you, you want. You look taller than him. <laughs> I am taller. You are taller than him. In the streams, he looks taller. Thank you so much. Okay, Razi. Okay. And you know, we, we depart with a smile. Yes. Okay, that's what we say. Exactly. If you want here, I mean, have a debate, but have it in a friendly manner because that's the purpose. You guys want to, you know, obviously tease them or tell them about your 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 ideology. Because Masoor and some of said on your stream, come to Yeah, yeah. Come to sure, sure, sure. You came, you came with a surprise visit when Abdan's not here? No, no, we're not going to go. He's surprised us by now being here. He can if you want. If you want to have a debate, you can have me. But now he's the only, not the only one. There are many people. And we want to give you the message as well. Look, 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 Abdan can save you on the Yama. If you're wrong and you keep using him as a scheme, you know, for me, for me, my Allah and Rasul are enough. I don't need a Qadiani, I don't need an Ahmadi, nor do I need anybody else. Why do you need a okay. Qadiani to debate? So, uh, wait, wait, if you, Why if you, you let debate? me ask you something. Yeah. If you want to debate, that's what you want, right? I'm offering you Adnan Rashid, what more you want? I want to discuss with you from Quran as well. I know you would love to, but go to someone who knows about the topic. So you don't know about the Quran? No, you, know, you want to talk about Ahmadiyya? I want to talk about the Quran. Yeah, but from Ahmadiyya point of view. No, from the Nabi Sassan's point of view. So, 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 so you're saying not from the Ahmadiyya point of view? The Ahmadiyya. Answer my question. So says, do you want Quran to discuss? Do you want to discuss the Quran from the Ahmadiyya point of view? I would discuss the Quran from the Sunnah. From your point of view. Okay, you answer the question. Do you believe in Ahmadiyya? Wait, wait. Do you believe? Do you want to discuss? Wait, wait. You ask me a question. Let me ask. Do you believe in the Fatimah? I didn't ask you. I asked him a question. Do you believe? Do you believe in the Fatimah prophet? Let's read. Wait, wait. Do you believe? I know you. Do you believe? No, bro. Calm down. Calm down. I know you guys are all fired up. Do you bring? I tell you what. Adnan Rashid. I debated him already. No, no. If you're afraid, just say so. I debated him. Just say so if you're afraid, bro. No, I'm not afraid. Because you're already shaking. I'll bring my dad. Why are you saying I'm shaking? I'm ready to I'm bringing him. Sheikh is ready here. Why are you wasting time? Why? Yeah. It's me. Sheikh, we want to discuss with you about Islam Ahmadiyya. There is no Islam Ahmadiyya. We want to discuss with you. We can have a There is no Islam Ahmadiyya. Let me let me stand in the sun. Let me stand in the sun. Do you want to Let me stand in the sun. Let me stand in the sun. Let me stand in the shade. Let me stand in the shade. No. No, you can't. Stay, stay from there. Yes, yes. Stay from there. Yes, yes stay from there. From there, from there. From there. Talk to the hand. <laughs> Let's go behind it. Yeah, go, go behind, behind. You go behind. You go behind. Not from here, behind, behind. Why? By the way, by the way, why do I need to discuss? You challenge us. No, I didn't challenge no one. You have Islamic beliefs. Okay, you are kafir. What I do to you? Likewise. You okay? Well, kafir, just get lost. Don't get lost. Don't come to me. Get lost. Get lost. Get lost. Bring us to Islam. إنك لا تهدي من أحببت ولكن الله يهدي من يشاء. By the way, don't touch me. If you touch me again, I will hit you. Yeah, yeah, don't touch me. I'm warning you. Yeah, don't touch me. Just, just stay, get lost there. Now, you see here, I will tell you something. Those, 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 those filthy scumbags, the Qadianis. Those Qadiani. The one who follow, follow the, the filthy scumbag, Ghulam Ahmed the scumbag. That scumbag who pretend to be, and that, that guy, he was like, you know what he used to do? He made, he made the Muslims in India, he, sp he actually split the Muslim of India. What he did, he said, don't, don't fight, don't fight 
don't fight the British. Why don't fight the British? Because they are, because they are, because they are with the British. Because they are, they are masters. They are masters. Okay, that's okay. Okay, we have. Then why do you talk to me? Okay, why do you talk to me? I don't. They are liars. They are liars. Uncle, 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 uncle. I will tell you. I will tell you. I will tell you. We have, we have someone. We have someone who made a prophecy. Yeah, I didn't invite. You. I didn't invite. No, we didn't invite. We didn't invite. We don't invite scumbags. 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 We don't deal. We don't deal. We don't deal with scumbags. Yeah. Not you. Which is not you. You are not included. Because you are not included. True. You are not included. That's true. You are a scumbag. You are a scumbag. You are just only a filthy scumbag following a filthy scumbag like you. That's who you are. Who you are? You are just only a filthy scumbag following a filthy scumbag like you. Ghulam Ahmed, you don't use our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. You are the filthy scumbag of the Qadianis. You follow a false scumbag. That scumbag, what he used to do? Let's talk about Muhammad Begum. Let's talk about Muhammad Begum. Why we talk, why, we, why you don't talk? Why you hide from Muhammad Begum? Why don't you talk about Muhammad Begum? You, 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 you dog, you come to my shoes. You come to my feet, you dog. You are a dog. You are just only a dog. Come, you come to my shoes, you filthy dog. So that's how people smoke like. Speak, speak. So we've spoken to him many times online and today we're here in person and we want to discuss with him from the Quran and a Hadith and we have a timer as well here, we'll do two minutes each so if you allow you can start or I can start. Okay, so what we're going to do, I will hold you back to your books which is eight books, the Quran, the six and the Dara Qutni. Anything you bring to me, it has got to be from these sources, yeah? I agree. You don't bring me any blairwees, you don't bring me anything. So, because the reason why, because your prophet is the one that said you can only use these books, okay? So I agree with Brother Ibn Hazm, we will stick to the Quran and the Hadith, we will not go outside. From the six and Dara Qutni. No, from the six and Dara Qutni. The Quran, the six authentic books, and Darul Qutni, we will stay in these Ahadith books. So I'll start with something really important from last week, my time has started. The brother quoted and was debating an Ahmadi Muslim, and he said, the Hadith of Law Kamil Imanu Inda Suraya, La Nalahu Rajulun Min Haulai, Sheikh said, Ibn Hazm said, Aurijalun, Aurijalun. No, I'm, I'm helping you to, okay. to say the Hadith correctly. Yeah. Rijalun, Aurajulun. So in uh -huh. Sahih Muslim, there's a narration with Rajulun as Bukha well, number yeah. one. Yeah, I'm in Bukhari too. Uh, I'm yes, in yes. Bukhari too. So the Sheikh said, can we move a bit back to the Sheikh? Ibn Hazm said in response to the Ahmadi Muslim that this is not in Bukhari. And he said, even if it is in Bukhari, it's still Modu. So this no, one, no, let no, me no, finish. No, 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 Okay, oh, you're timing already. I have the video clip with me. If he challenges, I'll play it. He said it's not in Bukhari. It's not in Bukhari. Maybe 10, 15 times, both the Shiyu said it's not in Bukhari. This is the first point. The second point is, we want to ask you an important question. Because some of your preachers online are saying that Yadda ul Jizya, the Hadith of Yadda ul Jizya, means that Isa al-Islam will not fight the Ahl Kitab. But we have your video saying that Ayat of the Quran are abrogated. La ikraha fi deen is abrogated. Walau sha rabuka la amna man fil ardi kulluhum jamiya afa anta tukri hannas hatta yakunu mu'minin is abrogated. Wa man sha fa yu'min fa man sha fa yakfir is abrogated. We need you to prove that these Ayat of the Quran are abrogated and who gave you the right to abrogate these Ayat. If Allah told you, let us know as well. Now, 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 as to the hadith of Law Khan al Dinu fi Turaya la nalahu rijalun, Imanu fi Turaya, and there is Law Khan al Dinu fi Turaya, and there is Law Khan al Ilmu fi Turaya. So, three, to be honest, 
the Iman one, yes, it is in Sahih Muslim in the in the Tafsir of uh, Sahih Al Bukhari in the Tafsir of Surah Al Jumu'ah. I did not hear him very well, and I was saying about Al Ilmu fi Turaya or Al Din fi Turaya. Now. That's, that's neither here nor there. That doesn't change that you, your prophet is not a true prophet. Now listen people, listen people. He challenges me regarding the, uh, the he challenges me regarding the abrogation. Which madhab are you? I'm Ahmed, the Muslim. No, no, no. Which madhab are you? Which madhab are you? No, no. Let's make it so that. I, uh, look, I, I don't like this. Uh, okay, so uh, which madhab are you? Okay. Which madhab are you? His books have said, I am not a muqallid like the Hanafis or the others. I only put Quran in a hadith and do his from that. Yeah. And he says, so that reference, that reference. Listen, Mirza Ghulam Ahmed says. To Nur al-Din al-Hakim, he says to him, I want you to change your madhab because he was an athari. He was for, from the followers of hadith. This is in your books. So, and he made him become a Hanafi, become a Hanafi. Now, I have got you on record testifying that yes, you are, you follow the Hanafi madhab. The Hanafi madhab states that the Sunnah abrogates Quran so either you don't follow, so you don't follow your Nabi, you don't follow the Hanafi Madhab, what do you follow? Are you done? Fine. Okay. Are you done, Shaykh? Do you want to put a mic on you? It's fine. For the, for the other cameras. Is no, it? no, they, they can. They okay, can. We have two minutes on. Firstly, I asked you two questions you didn't answer either. You have to accept that you were... And more and more Allah Ali. It will be no audio. It will be. It will be it will start. 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 No, no. But before you are okay. No need to put the phone in front of my. It will be no audio. Enough. No. Okay. 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 Can, can we use your uh, your footage after? If you give us permission, if you give us permission, I will turn it off. If they give us permission to use your audio, we will not record uh, and and the video. Do you give permission? Okay. So, well, where are you putting this? this so, okay. So. I asked, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. I asked the Sheikh two questions, Ibn Hazm. He didn't answer them. The Ahmadi Muslim was quoting Sayyid al Bukhari. He has to accept that he was wrong by saying it's not in Bukhari. Number one, it won't, we won't let it go that easy. Making such big claims, I challenge you. Show me in Bukhari. Show me in Bukhari. It's clearly Bukhari. Number one. Number two, I asked him about the Hadith of Yada al Jizya. He hasn't addressed it. His followers are now on social media saying he will come and not to Qital. So they're trying to follow what we believe without saying they're Ahmadi. Then he quoted that Hazrat Ahmad al Asim was a Hanafi and I've admitted to that. That is out of context in the same debate. I said that on the same page as Hazrat Ahmad al Asim writes that when I say the term Hanafi, all I am saying is that put the Quran in a hadith first. The incident with Hazrat Ahmad al Asim. Not Al Asim. Al Asim. He said that Hazrat al Asim told Khalifa to Masih al Abba Nadi Allah wanted to add Hanafi to his name. And when Khalifa Abba said, I did it out of your love, then Hazrat Ahmad al Asim told him that it's because Hanafis put Quran in a hadith first, and this is all I refer to when I say Hanafi. Now let us turn to the Don't Quran. lie, don't lie, do not lie. Quran, Let's turn to the Quran. Do not lie. Allah says in the Quran, clear cut iron surah al maida that on the day of judgment, Allah will say to Hazrat Did you say to the people? No, no, look, stick to one, stick to one thing, stick to one thing. 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 No, no, I answered, I answered. I answered. Ahmed, Ahmed, I answered. I answered. But he said I didn't even answer the one. You have to accept No, no, no. But listen, listen. Don't dance around me with the no, 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 no. With the from, from, from one subject to the other. Yeah. Stick with one subject because what you do, you wanna. Give a room to me. Yeah, give a Yeah, no. Listen, listen. Listen, listen. Listen, listen. Listen, listen. Listen, Razi. Is your elder? Yeah. 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 But look, is your elder? So respect, yeah? Yes. Like a right. Right. Yeah. No, no, he just went like this. He did, well, that was not even a push. How is he going to push? Before you anyway, came, he did many things. Anyway, so he anyway, he anyway, things. he's with me now. No, no, anyway. No, no, no. Anyway. Yes, yes, you're right. Anyway. What's it? What's it? What's it? Huh? He's, he's, he's holding it. He's holding it. It's no problem. Now, Yada'ul Jizya. Jizya is known what it is. Jizya, but what he fails to say it's what's in the hadith. 
فيقتل الكفار بماذا؟ بنفسه ونفسه يصي ونفسه حيث يصل نظره means that his the breath the breath his breath when the kuffar will smell it they will die they will die and the breath his breath reaches where where his eyesight reaches so he forgets that so all the, 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 the hadith of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam tells us how he's going to kill them now this killing them what he forgot to وَإِمْ مِنْ أَهْلِ الْكِتَابِ إِلَّا لَا يُؤْمِنَنَّ بِهِ قَبْلَ مَوْتِهِ وَإِمْ مِنْ أَهْلِ الْكِتَابِ إِلَّا لَا يُؤْمِنَنَّ بِهِ قَبْلَ مَوْتِهِ بِهِ تَعُودْ Because if you look, uh, if you look uh, this is chapter 4 by the way, I think it's verse 159 or 160. So uh, chapter uh, 4. In here, all the discourse was about Isa alayhi salam. عيسى عليه السلام وما قتلوه وما صلبوه ولكن شبه لهم أن وإن من أهل الكتاب إلا لا يؤمن النبي قبل موته. so Razi in here has got to explain to us this به ب وها الضمير يعود على عيسى منهم وفي قراءة لأبي بن كعب وفي قراءة لأبي بن كعب ونف أبي بن كعب recitation وإن من أهل الكتاب لا يؤمن النبي قبل موتهم قبل موتهم look in plural, meaning that there will not be a Yahudi or a Nasrani or a Nasrani except that he will that he will believe in Isa alayhi salam once they see him before without they before they death. Before before him. قبل موتهم. This is قراءة أبي بن كعب. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Before they die. Yeah. Said many things. I started my discussion by asking him that the Quran mentions many ayat. لا إكراه في الدين. ولو شاء ربك لعمل من في الأرض كلهم جميعا. ومن شاء فليؤمن فمن شاء فليكفر. That Allah says, if Allah willed everyone would believe, He never answered me. I asked him who gave him the right to abrogate those ayat. He said, Hanafi Mazhab said it. Did Allah tell you those ayat are abrogated? You need to tell us. Number one. Secondly, Anything his happen. preachers are now saying... He shouldn't ask me unless he wants happen. me, he doesn't want me yeah, to answer, yeah? No, no, he, he can state, questions. he can state... No, I didn't ask any question, you see. Make sure, make sure, yeah, pause, pause. Look, if he turns around and asks a question, I will answer. He's making a statement that... Okay, no, well, well, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what. I'm old, so don't make a statement at the beginning and... Uh, Okay. Keep your questions to just before I want to answer okay. and then tell me the questions and I answer you. I think so, like that it will be better, okay, yeah? So I'll keep the questions because otherwise I forget. Firstly, the eye is not complete. The Lala. If you open up any of the books of, uh, of the Tafasir, they make it clear that the Ahlul Ta'wi is different. But look, the Quran itself says that there will be Jews and Christians till Yom Al Qiyamah. This shows your Istidlal is completely bottled in chapter 5 verse 15 chapter 5 verse 65 and 355 it said to yom al qiyama the yahud and nasara now you have to tell me you're saying ahle kitab will disappear how will they disappear is it imma islam or imma saif will the messiah come with the sword and say either islam or the sword will he force them to accept islam yes or no this is my question second question is who gave you the right to abrogate these verses like lai grafidin etc and third question is what do you say about someone who says when the messiah comes he won't do any kital and we are lying when we say that you believe of imma islam or imma saif you need to put the fatwa on that person who's lying against your beliefs Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Listen to this carefully. He keeps going to, to, to give a fatwa. I am not here to give any fatwa, but I will say what the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has said. Hadith, an authentic hadith. Umirtu, umirtu, I was commanded an uqatil al-nas to fight people, uqatil, not struggle, uqatil, meaning with the sword. Hatta yashhadu Allah ilaha illallah fa in shahidu fa qad asamu dima'ahum wa amwalahum illa bi haqqin min Allah except in one of the hudud like someone commits zina or someone kills someone then there will be capital punishment will be upon them so 
who abrogated. It's, I don't need to abrogate. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, when he said, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, when he said, La yushrikanna, and this is Hadith Abu Huraira in, uh, in Sahih al-Bukhari, La yushrikanna an yanzila fikum Isa ibn Maryam hakaman adlan, and then Abu Huraira, what did he say? He came, It's not stitna. It's not stitna. It's taqeed. Meaning that from the people of the book, they will certainly, evidently, Believe in him. Now you tell me, people. It's not like their Messiah who came from the... Uh, who topic, came... Topic, listen, topic, listen. Topic, yeah, topic, topic. topic, topic. 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 Don't interrupt me. Don't off, restart my time. Restart my time. Off, I don't care. Restart my time. No, 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 no. Restart my time. He's not debating me, so he hasn't got to... He's not debating me. He's not debating me. No, no, no. Wait, wait. It is in the topic. What are you doing? You, what are you doing? Ahmed, you can't stop me. You don't you do not know what I was gonna say. Yeah, okay. I'm debating him. Let me with him, yeah. Okay. It's not like your prophet that came from the womb of a woman, yeah? Now, the 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 return of Isa ibn Maryam, Isa ibn Maryam, an Nasiri, he will be No 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 I said he stopped me you're gonna repeat my time. Yes, yes, so that you learn not to stop me next time. No, 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 that was between me and you and I've left you. So that he learns not to stop me. Can we do two minutes, two minutes? Two minutes, yeah, but but he should, Ahmed doesn't doesn't interrupt. No, no, but there will be no interruption. Look listen, listen, all I was gonna say that he came from the womb. He jumped before. You said it, yes, yes. Yeah, but the thing about it, what did you have to stop me? No, don't. Look, when you interrupt me, I am going in a style of that. So you interrupt okay. me, Ahmed. Okay. Don't interrupt okay. me. Okay. Right. So, Isa ibn Maryam, alayhi wa ala he will be, uh, he will be descending between two angels. Now, you tell me, the normal people looking at someone coming between two angels, Two angels on the on the uh, on on Sharqiya Dimashq, on the minaret, on the minaret, the white minaret, and they will see him. How will they not believe? You tell me if that is a miracle of miracles or not. I'll I'll, I'll forfeit the rest. I'll forfeit the rest. I'll forfeit the rest. Yeah. All I just needed to finish my point. Look, Allah says in the Quran, I give three ayat that Kufar will remain till the day of judgment. He didn't dare address a single ayah. Number one. Number two, I asked him what Yadda or Jizya means. And now he's saying, look now. Because they said to face the camera. Look, you're a third person. You start my time. We started. Okay. Now, we are going to restart. Start. We're going to start every start. time. So, let us let start. them do. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, our question was about Yadda or Jizya. Listen carefully to what Ibn Hazim said. He said, when he says coming from the skies, everyone will believe. So, are you denying Imma Islam or Imma Saif now as well? You need to answer this question. Number one. Number two, he quoted the view of Abu Huraira. Al Qawla Sahabi Nisa Bi Hujjah. In the statement of Bukhari, Abu Huraira did not do any istidlal. We have greater Akabi Sahaba who made it clear that here, Motihi does not refer to the death of Isa Lassam, and if David Kaab's came out, it says mo to him and he already accepted it showing that it's not Katiyu Dalala. So he's using evidences with the with the Shadid. But look at the evidences we call. On Yom al Qiyamah Allah say, was say to Isa Lassam, did you say to the people to worship you and your mother as God besides Allah? Look at the answer of Isa Lassam. He says, Ma'akdoti lahum illa ma'amaratali bihi anibudullah rabbi wa rabbakum wa kuntu alayhim shayda the Sheikh began after he said in Sahih al-Bukhari Kitab al-Tafsir Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that fa aqulu kama qala al-abdus salih fa lamma tawaffaytni kunta an tarqib alim yani according to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam fa lamma tawaffaytni means death 
then look at the ijma of the Sahaba. Wa ma Muhammadun illa Rasulun kat khalat min qabli hi Rasul. When the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam died, Hazrat Abu Bakr radhiyallahu anhu gave the greatest of all time. He said, "Man kana ya budu Muhammad, fa inna Muhammadan kadman. Wa man kana ya budu Allah, fa inna Allah hayun la yamut." And he recited this ayah to show that all messages before Rasulullah have already that in Ibn Hazm accepts. That Isa is in our Rusul. So anyone who excludes him is a liar and is lying against the Quran. Look, ju just just for you, just for you to, just for uh, you are doing it. You are lying against the Quran. Okay, okay, okay. Ami, 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 Ami. Min fadlak, min fadlak, min fadlak. Listen, listen. No, no. Wait, wait. You finished? All right. Listen. We were talking about Isa, alayhi salam and his descent and that. So now we went to the death of Isa, just that you watch. Now he says that قول, uh, قول yeah. Now, but when he speaks about the death of Isa, he brings Ibn Abbas, he brings Ibn Abbas, when he brings Ibn Abbas as Dalil, as Dalil. Yatawaffa means Yamut. So he, he brings that, but now he says, قول الصحابي ليس بحجة. Just to show you that how they play with it as they like. But this is neither here nor there. يوم القيامة, our Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم, Muhammad ibn Abdullah, said that تقوم القيامة على شرار الناس, على شرار الخلق. So of course they will be kuffar. Even they will be, they will be women dancing with their backsides to the Kaaba. We know this. This is nothing to hide. We know this. So Allah Jalla wa Ala will send the wind, a beautiful wind, and that wind, whichever, whoever smells it, will pass away. All the believers and the only people that will be remain are the kuffar. So we know that during the time of Isa, there will be iman everywhere. In a hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he says, Yuhlikullahu fihi al-milal, that Allah Jalla wa Ala will destroy all other religion, pagan religion, Hinduism, Brahmism, any other ism, even Ahmadism will not be there. So for him to say, to start dancing, as I say to you, he cannot stick to one subject. He's got to jump from here to the death of Isa, which I'm not going to, to it because that's another subject. So, so, first thing he accused me of quoting Ibn Abbas Mutawafika Mumituka. You have to understand in your own usul if a mufassir, a sahabi says something and no one opposes him, then that becomes hujja. But the statement of Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu, a kabri sahaba opposed his understanding. The hadith you quoted has no istidlad there. He just read the ayah, number one. Number two, I quoted four ayat which contradict your understanding. Kabla motihim, you yourself quoted it to show it's not katiyu dalala. We need to prove Isa is alive in the heavens. I quoted two ayat, he didn't dare answer them. Now let's come to Yad al Jizya. This is a game. He said a wind will come and kill these believers. He said that yes. the breath of Isa will kill these yes. believers. Where are you going with Imma al Islam or Imma Sib? Are you repenting from that belief? Are you repenting from the Dawah stream where you said Isa will come and say Islam or the Sud? Why are you hiding this? You need to share your belief. Now you're saying a wind will come, his breath will come. Where's the sword? Imam al Islam or Imam Sib, all your ulama say. Imam Nawi, Ibn Hajar, all of them say that Isa will come. Yad un Nas ila al Islam, be saved. He will come with the sword. He will say to the people, if you accept this Islam, or I'll kill you. Don't come here, freestyle my time. Restart my time. Stop, please. Restart my time. Please stop him. Yeah. His view is that he said will come him, with the sword. Him. Why are you cutting off again? He's not talking to you. He's you, talking to. Oh. They got excuse, you know. Okay, they don't have any for yeah, 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 Sheikh is distracting. Yeah. If he starts speaking to him, you'll be distracted. Don't. So, don't okay, don't. There's a game being played here that the viewers need to understand. He mentioned the wind and the breath of Isa but his belief that he's hiding is Imma Islam or Imma Sib. Isa Lassam will come with the sword. Someone, are you in the group? Do you want to? Okay, okay, don't, don't, please. Tyrant, Tyrant, Tyrant. Please, yeah, please, please, Tyrant. Same, 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 same
Let the Sheikh deal with it. So what I'm saying is that he spoke about wind and the breath of Isa Lassam, but he is on record between Imma Islam or Imma Sayyid. In fact, he said these ayat are abrogated. La ikraha fiddin. There is no compulsion in religion. So Allah said to Rasulullah, "Walau shaa Rabbuka la amana man fil ardi kullu jamia, or fa anta tuki hanas hatta yekulu muminin." That it's Allah will. He's even saying it's abrogated. This is their condition, right? So Allah says in the Quran that if he will... No, 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 let him come. No, 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 no. Sheikh, uh, uh, Dr. Omar, uh, Dr. Imran, come, come this way, please. Okay, so we start. He's going to start. He's going to start. He's going to start. He's going to start. No. Come this way. Come near me. Yeah, so what I'm saying is Sheikh Ibn Hazm on Dawah Wai stream said that these ayat are abrogated. And when the Messiah comes, he will force people to convert to Islam with the sword. Now he's speaking of a wind and the breath of Isa Alayhi That wasn't the question. It's a whole yadda hadith Jesus. of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. I don't care, I don't know, but he's laughing. No, don't laugh, don't laugh. Don't laugh. Stadlal to be hadith, Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Have respect for the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. I give my life for him. I love him. I know you would. I know you would. I know you would. Can I finish? Can I finish? Finish. You guys are not going to be Rasulullah. I would die for Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. These are hadiths that are authentic. That the breath of the Messiah will close the disbelief. We accept yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. However, these are hadith yeah. are not to be taken no, literally. Yeah. Now, I put it two ayat in the Quran. He never responded to them. As for his ayah, I put it four ayat that show that Kuffar will remain till Yom Al Qiyamah. His istidlal is not kati. It's mutashab and it doesn't support it because in the same ayah it says, now on the day of judgment, Isa will oppose those who reject him. In Minas Hasad, we have Jews here dying day and night, Christians dying without believing in Isa as a messenger of Allah. This shows that his istidlal is batil. Imam Zajjad says his luga is baid min al luga. It's far from the grammar. Look at the clear cut ayat of the Quran. I quoted two verses. I'll repeat them for you because you said ask in the end. Allah says in the Quran explicitly, Katiyud Dalala, that on Yom Al Qiyamah, Isa says, Falamma Tawakaitani, Kuntan Tarakibalim, that after my death, the Christians went to Shri. Christians are there preaching the divinity of Isa Alayhi Salam. Quran says they began and went to Shri. We're talking about Yada Al Jizya and Da, and it's taken me to the death of Isa. That's the preferred subject. Tawakaitani means death. In Sahih Al Bukhari, I quoted Ibn Abbas, he said, I think you've been for five minutes. I think be fair. I've, I've left it before, I've left it before. Ask your question, ask your question. Because you've been talking now for eight minutes. One sec, one sec, brother. They have to make a yeah, yeah, yeah. Brothers, last thing, last thing, last yeah, thing. Ask your questions, ask your questions. With Ibn Abbas, radiallahu anhu, inni mutawafika mumituka, had the jma'af the sahaba, I challenge you here today, show me a single sahabi who said mutawafika means other than death. Challenge, open challenge. Qiyama can come, you can never present it. Our topic, is not our topic is not the death of Isa alayhi salam. Our topic is regarding the is um, uh, the, eschatolo the eschatology. We're talking about the eschatology in here. The eschatology that we're talking about is Isa alayhi salam. He will descend to between two angels. Now he's he's beating a gun around the bush. I said that the, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam said. It's up to you to bring a hadith that contradicts this. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, anything that he says, anything that he says before he, he died, that would abrogate anything which is at the coming of Isa. Now I say, if you say to me that hadith does not abrogate, abrogate sunnah, then you have a problem because you follow the Hanafi Madhab. If you follow the Hanafi Madhab, then the, the, the sunnah abrogates the Quran. Now, what I'm saying is the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Yuhlikullahu fihi al-milal, that Allah will destroy all the other religions yep. and the only thing that will remain is Islam if you are against it that, but you know why he's saying no we know why it doesn't suit him it doesn't suit him because at the time of Mirza Ghulam Ahmed there was Hinduism in India ripe there was 
people worshipping rats, people worshipping cows, people worshipping all sorts, all kinds of paganism there was. Did anything happen? No. So where is even, even you say Yada'ul Jizya? Why Yada'ul Jizya? You have to ask yourself, because the money would be in abundance that no one will take it. And in the hadith, you keep, la you keep laughing, Ahmed. And in the hadith, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says, says, uh, let me finish the sentence. And then you can have the extra to it. So that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says, As-sajdatu, as-sajdatu fihi khayrun min ad-dunya wa ma fiha. The prostration at the time of Isa Alaihi Salam is better than the dunya with everything. Meaning that people are turning away from the money because of the nearness to Yawm Al-Qiyamah and they are after Ibadah. You have? Yeah, 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 yeah. So the first thing is he keeps putting... Yeah, I need, you know, I'm diabetic, so... No, 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 just water, just water. No, no, I, I, have, got, I have got stuff, uh, glucose for myself. I've got glucose with me. I just need the water. Yeah, go, go ahead. Okay. So, the first thing is he keeps quoting the hadith incorrectly. The ulama have put this hadith under Uncle, 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 uncle. For me, for me. Yeah, for me. This was said about Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam as well. Look around you, this could fire everywhere. Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, I am mahi to all the prisoners. So we accept this hadith. But they are not to be taken literally. It means when the Messiah comes through arguments, he will silence everyone. Number one. Then he said we're speaking about the descent of the Messiah, and this will help. This will happen now. It's amazing. People need to notice this. Ibn Hazm has changed his view, alhamdulillah. I asked him three times about the hadith Yada al Jizya. He gave a secondary interpretation that wealth will be in abundance. He mentioned the wind. He mentioned the breath of the Messiah. He didn't dare say in al Islam or in Masif. Even though this is his video on Dawahis, he accepted that according to him, these ayat of the Quran are abrogated. If Allah would la amana fil ult fil ardi kulluhum jamia afanta tuki hanas hatta yakunu mu'minin. Allah says to Rasulullah that you cannot force people to convert. But his belief is Isa will come with the sword and force people to convert. Going back to the discussion, I quoted two ayat of the Quran. He didn't dare address a single one. I gave the view of Ibn Abbas, I gave the Ijma of the Sahaba. But he cannot answer these questions. And he quoted the Hazrat Ahmad al King. In his time, there were these religions, your own ulama, except that he destroyed all these religions. But we have to remember that the Prophet وسلم, is the greatest prophet. He said, Anal Mahi Alladi, Yumhallahu bi al Kufr, to me all Kufr is destroyed. Ibn Hajar Rahmullah explains that this will happen slowly. And one of the ulama, Umm the Tulkari, says this will happen in the time of the Messiah, even though Walladi Arsala applies to Rasulullah. So you need to answer that. Of the Quran, Waman Lam Yahum, Bima Anzal Allahu Faulai Tahmul Kafiru. You finished, yeah? All right. If you, if you notice again, He's just going around, and I, this is what I don't like because if you're going to be sticking to this, I'm going to go. I'll tell you the reason why. Because I say to you, Yuhlikullahu fi al-milal. I'm, I'm going to say it again. You keep bringing the safe. And now why are you bringing the safe? You want to show the Christian out there that, look, Muslims do say that either you, that either you become Muslims or they will kill you. But we Ahmadis, we don't. You know, it's love for all, hate for none. This is what he's building to, yeah? But it doesn't work with me. The reason why. As sunnah, as sunnah abrogates Quran. Now, who said Yuhlikullahu fihi al-milal? Lahido. Watch out that Allah will destroy all religions. What does it mean, all religions? It means without exclusion. So, la ikraha fi din abrogated. لو أراد الله لو شاء ربك لا آمن كل من في الأرض جميعا that's abrogated now he's saying استغفر الله العظيم but the 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 actual the actual madhab he follows madhab Abu Hanifa that's you don't you don't follow madhab Abu Hanifa no 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 I'm asking because because someone says someone says I don't follow you know Mirza Ghulam Ahmed made it compulsory on them to follow Madhab Abu Hanifa, the Hanafi Madhab. A prophet 
following a madhab. La ilaha illallah. A prophet, a prophet from Allah, and he follows a madhab. Madhab who? Madhab Abu Hanifa, rahmatullahi alayh. And Abu Hanifa is innocent from them and from their kufriyat. Anyway, anyway, so, uh, 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 24. So again, I am not going to start beating around it. He has to counter it. I'm saying that it is uh, everything will be abrogated. So, Ima, uh, um, uh, Isa ibn Maryam, as the, uh, as the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam say, يُهْلِكُ اللَّهُ الْمِلَلَ جَمِيعًا Bring something. Okay. So firstly, I need to bring Abu Hanifa out. Yeah. Firstly, he, 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 he keeps on quoting. Of course, I didn't read all. Sheikh, Sheikh, allow me. Yeah, talk, talk. Don't, don't worry about me. I don't worry about. I am listening. Trust me. Trust me. I'm listening to you. Bring the Hadith up. Yeah, but the, uh, is there both wordings? Both yeah, yeah. Kullaha. No, uh, even Kullaha or Jami'a is. He might be saying something different. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, but look, Ahmed, Ahmed, Ahmed. Kull and Jami'a means same the thing. same thing. So, so. Then why can't just, just continue. Just continue. They should see. Just continue. Okay, so as you see. I understand. Are you saying I'm Arab. I understand. Kullaha, Jami'a. Of course. My husband. Just continue. Look, I have got other things to do. So, listen, listen, brother, 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 brother. No, no, no. Just, just. He's calling Hadith of the. خلاص خلاص أحمد لافس وين أكوت الحديث أحمد داز لاف خلاص حبيبي حبيبي حبيب الله يزيك الخير brothers nobody brothers Sunni brothers nobody interrupts Razi when he's talking yeah let him talk yeah so the hadith of the prophet sallallahu the hadith of the prophet Muhammad sallallahu is like in the man he al milala kullaha, and he's focusing on the word kullaha and saying that this means in the time of the Messiah, no other religion would remain. But the same is said about Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, who Allah the Arsal of Rasulah who bil khuda wa din al haqi, the youth here who Allah din al kulli. The same word is used, but when it comes to Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, he accepts that this is though this will eventually happen. But the Quran is clear: kufar will always remain. The meaning of this hadith, you have to interpret it based on the Quran. Quran says Jews, Christians, and Kufar will remain till Qiyamah. وَجَعِلُ الَّذِينَ تَبَوْكَ فَوْكَ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا إِلَىٰ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ You have one answer. Abrogate this ayah as well. Your brother is ready to abrogate four ayahs of the Quran. Who gave him the right? He's saying because Rasulullah said that Islam will prevail and no other, all the other religions will perish. Is perishing only with the sword. And he said, I don't want to mention my real belief of Yadda al Jizya because you people will use that, that we believe Yada, uh, we believe in love for our hatred none. Last time I checked, you weren't Shia. So don't do taqiyah here with us. Share your actual belief. On the Dawah wise stream, you said, Imma Islam or Imma Saif. If you're Shia, tell us and we can change the topic, you look brother. Shias. <laughs> brother, don't cut up. You are not Shia. He cannot be Shia. Share your real belief here. This is you are not Shia. More Shia. Jaza or Jizya. His belief is in Islam or in Masif. And he abrogated four ayat of the Quran. I'll give you more. Lasta alayhim fi musaytir. Abrogate that as well. How many verses do you want to abrogate today? By the end of this discussion, I'll abrogate all of the Quran. Allah says, Rasul and Ilah Bani Israel. You believe when he comes, he's for all of mankind. Abrogate that as well. The falammat of faith in the ayah, abrogate that as well. Nothing is left of the Quran. That's what the Prophet Sallallahu prophesied. La yabka min al-Quran illa rasmuhu. Nothing will be left of the Quran except its word. Today we see a literal fulfillment of that. How much ayat did he abrogate? Did Allah allow him to? That's my question. Now, again, we're going around it because he seems to forget all the ahadith that I, I said. تقوم القيامة على شرار الخلق that the in the eschatology in the ahadith of the eschatology that the قيامة will come will come and there is only kufar there is only kufar after Isa's death during Isa and and in some in in one narration in Sahih Muslim seven years in the narration of Ibn Abbas nineteen years in another narration forty years but but in here, it's neither here nor there. 
77, 19 or 40, whichever it is, it means that during the time of Isa alayhi wa nabina Abdul Salati wa Salam, there will be nothing except Islam, except Islam. Meaning the earth is going to show its treasures. And I said that nobody that to aradu you aradu al-mal you aradu al-mal that people will be given money and they will refuse why because of the abundance of money then the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said la sajdatu al-wahida khayrun min ad-dunya wa ma fiha that one prostration is an in here just to know one thing if fiqh sajda it could also mean rak'ah which could also mean salah in here Sajda, it could also mean Salah. So that someone praying to Allah is better than the whole of the dunya with its money and its wealth and everything. The reason why? Because the eschatology, because that time is near the time of Qiyamah. And because it is near the time of Qiyamah, people would want to worship Allah. They do not want money. And this is, this is clear. He keeps saying that he's going to abrogate the whole of the Quran. And all I'm saying is, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, his ahadith regarding Akhir Zaman, they are the ones, they are Al-Hakam Al-Adl. It's not me. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is abrogating. Not me, not this Abdul Faqir Ila Rahmati Rabbi. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is the one that is abrogating. Okay, so as you see... Uh, listen, little, little, stop, 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 stop his time, stop his time. You know, in the same one, it's again, again, I'm tired of it, yeah? So, so you better change the topic because, because I'm just going, yeah. I'll take my last turn on this and then we'll change the topic. How long have we been at it? Because, because I need to rest. 23 minutes to half an hour. So firstly, I quoted two verses of the Quran from the death of Bring the bastard, you know, how much to whom they believe in the prophet. Bring that him, because they believe him, this is their Messiah. How he can tire, 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 please, please, just leave it. He said last week. He's been repeating all the time, we understand. Oh. He said I can take the last Just let him finish, yeah. Tire, 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 just, tire, 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 please. That's it. Habibi, Habibi. 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 Habibi.